just look at that thing go. And uh, give it a test spin. Let that thing go. That's not bad at all. What's up, guys? You remember this, the iPhone 7 fidget spinner. Let's go ahead and do the very same thing to a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. This is about an $850 phone. So let's check it out and see how it compares to a, you know, say, $5 fidget spinner and the iPhone 7 fidget spinner. But let's also add a couple bonuses in. So an Apple Watch fidget spinner and a Nokia 3310 legendary fidget spinner. So let's go ahead and see how those perform has one of those <clears throat> all right so let's go ahead and turn all of these devices here into a literal fidget spinner some cheap some expensive so over here the stainless steel version of the apple watch i think around 700 dollars originally when it came out now a little bit cheaper we've got the nokia 3310 invincible uh, lifetime supply of them anywhere on the internet uh, and here is the galaxy s8 plus so we're going to be using this one here uh, display still sort of works but from our water damage tests don't worry we're not breaking a brand brand new one just want to see if it would still make an effective one with the gorilla glass although that's probably going to crack and not look too pretty we'll have to see here but i think we're going to start with the nokia i've always wanted to turn one of these i think it's the perfect size it would fit uh, right between your fingers and uh, it's a little chunky but we're going to remove the battery and start drilling into them don't want a lithium fire over here all right, so we've already got everything tuned down, ready to drill. Let's go ahead and do that and add bearings, see how they work as a fidget spinner. All right, here we go. Nokia, taking a big risk doing this, might start some uh, nuclear apocalypse here. All right, turned out pretty clean. Just got a neat little hole in there to guide us. So this is really, really accurate. Should spin very nicely. And we're actually using a 28 millimeter bearing. They are bigger. So here's your standard fidget, and here are these so much bigger. It's gonna be a little bit better for something like this. More to grab onto, but very, very nice and spins very well. So let's go ahead and drill through that. I'm sorry, but I've got like a million more of you in my shelf over there, so it'll be fine. It'll break, it doesn't matter. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch, carnage. The heart of a Nokia. Beautiful. I'm gonna wear this on a chain around my neck. That is a pretty clean hole through the Nokia. Not bad, that looks good. Let's stick some uh, spinners in, some bearings. See what that looks like. Here it is. The back plate kind of shifted, so it has to be open while putting it in. But let's go ahead and insert the Tony Stark heart. It slides in so satisfyingly perfect here. I love it. And one in the front here. So this one's a little bit of a tight squeeze. But there it is. And uh, we're gonna glue it, but let's give it a test run here. Not bad, they're just a little uneven, so once I put them in correctly, they'll work a little better. All right, so next up is the Apple Watch 42 millimeter. This is the stainless steel version with a sapphire crystal back. It's perfectly 28 millimeters, the size of the bearing, so we'll be able to get this out of here and have a very clean install of the bearing. So why have one of these on your wrist when you can play around with it as a $700 fidget spinner? <laughs> Let's get to work. All right, so the watch is working underneath there just so you guys can see. Let's see what happens. Fortunately, I don't know if it's gonna be really hard to remove the battery on this one, so I've gotta be very careful. You're gonna need a lot more pressure than that. Damn, that's crazy, it's so resistant. Still working underneath there, it wants me to cancel the drilling. It takes a lot of effort just to get a little nick in that display, that's crazy, it's so resilient. Ouch, there goes the display, so did that kill it? I think that killed it. So we broke the display, but we're gonna keep drilling. Uh, there's no way we're gonna get a clean cut here. But, okay, okay, okay. Yes. 
that battery out of there and uh, we might have access to the door. All right, so we did get into here. We're gonna go ahead and remove all the internals. Uh, essentially, I think what we're gonna do is just pop it into where the charging pad is. There's really no easier way to do this, but let's see if we can do that. Oh. There's that, all right, bigger board, let's stick a bearing in. All right, so we just sealed this in. It actually looks pretty dang cool. Nestled in nicely, got our 28 millimeter bearing here. Uh, let's go ahead and see how she works. So, man, this is a tough metal. It is hard to drill into. Wow. Cool, you can actually even like do tricks with this. It's just slightly off center but it is working. That is so cool, dang. Quite expensive. Uh, definitely works better than the iPhone 7 one, the little, little tiny one here. So I'm sure if we grease up this bearing, it might work a little bit better, but so far, so good. So the Apple Watch makes a great, very good uh, fidget spinner here. Let's move on and uh, see how the Samsung Galaxy S8 does as a fidget spinner, which I'm assuming won't do very, very well, but. Let's try it on here, actually. Much better. Spins for a very long time, wow. Let's try with the bands on. <laughs> that works quite well, actually. Dang, that even gives it more momentum. Wow. I did not expect it to work so well, actually. All right, Samsung Galaxy S8, here we go. This one is not gonna be easy and not gonna look pretty, that's for sure. That Gorilla Glass 5, ooh. Oh, did you see that? It's still working, <laughs> Look at that. Screen is freaking out, does not like to be invaded by a drill, that's for sure. All right, let's pull that off and go for the big one now. Cracks are spreading, doesn't look pretty. But it is still working, let's see for how long. Surviving still, wow. Wow, I can't believe it's still working. Look at that over there. That is Samsung quality. Ooh, it's still flashing. Still working. What? Oh, there we go, all the way through. I think that may have killed it. I'm just surprised at how long it kept going for before dying. Wait, 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 is the display still flickering? Not as bad as I thought. I thought the display would fall apart completely, but look at that. Doesn't look terrible. It's a little off center but there it is so uh stick a bearing in here and see how it works check this out guys it is actually still working if you look at the bottom portion here the display like freaks out for a couple seconds the galaxy s8 has a hole 28 millimeters in diameter going straight through it and it is still working what in the world screen is flickering I just can't believe that, that's crazy. All right, so we got the back cover on too. It's a little bit off center, but let's see how it does. The $750, wait, this is $850 fidget spinner. Wow, not bad. That is much better than the Apple Watch. It goes and goes and goes. Cool, let's go. So not terribly off center, still works pretty nice. And the crazy thing is, it still works. If I plug it into power, the display portions of it will still work. So, I'm gonna look at that. He got lines going, like, it's just crazy that some of the OLED display still works with a fidget spinner mod in the middle of it. All right, testing time. Let's check out the 3310 spinner first. So, it's, uh, it's all right. It's a bit wobbly, not aligned very well, but it works, hey, it's the cheapest one of the bunch, so has its advantage there. Let's try my makeshift spinner station here. One. Ooh. 
not so well on that one. How about the Apple Watch? So with the bands on, it actually works very well. Nice and balanced there. Look at that thing go. So obviously it's gonna work a little bit better without the bands. Let's pull those guys off. And this makes for a very nice and compact one. I mean, put a screen on the front or something nice and look at that, look at that thing go, that's interesting. The Apple Watch fidget spinner, it's beautiful, it's efficient. And the Galaxy S8 Plus. This one is going to be extremely difficult to do unless you have some huge hands. So I will need this guy here. So pop it on and uh, give it a test spin. Let that thing go, that's not bad at all. It goes a lot further than the iPhone one. Ooh, here's a Galaxy S8 versus iPhone test nobody's done. Fidget spinner versus fidget spinner. One, two, three, one, two, three. Whoops. All right, so there's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, don't do this to your phone as it will get damaged during the process, but just thought you guys would wanna see how these would work as a fidget spinner. Kind of interesting. Peace.